Good evening and welcome to Lavinia's Demo Spotlight. Now, what we're looking at today, this is the Nobly Crook, the horse you sailed in on. This game is available, well, it's not available, it will be available, I'm assuming, on Steam Greenlight. It's a point and click adventure, it says. <laughs> a royal guffaloon, huh? Osiris the Snippin. <laughs> so what we've got here, this game is going to be 100% free to play. So it's up on green light for the vote, which, how do you not vote for a game that, I mean, look at it already. It's got some pretty decent art to it. It's got some engaging music. It looks like it's going to be quirky and fun. And it's free, so how can you go wrong? This is episode one, which I found on the game's website. I'll have a link both to the website and to the green light in the episode description, so you can go and give them a vote or check out the game for yourself. Um, now, the premise of this, it's it's a rock, paper, scissors kind of world. So if you saw just a minute ago, there were some paper-looking critters, and it basically follows... Those are, those are kind of your elements in the game, according to the description, and it's going to follow your basic rock, paper, scissors game, where... Rock is going to trump scissors, scissors trumps paper, paper trumps rock. So let's hop in here and see what it is all about. I'm ready to hear your confession. Okay, so can I interact with some things now? What is this? Nobody actually volunteers to use one of those. Can I sit? Nope. Ooh, what about this fiery grate? Oh, that room is actually worse than this one. What about this one? I'm trying not to draw attention to that. It's a federal offense to tamper with safety instructions. I would love to pop that pin, but that's not happening. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman, then. <laughs> I really don't want to touch him. Oh, that's the same thing. No, we cannot sit. <laughs> Make it stop. All right, well, that accomplished something. Okay, so we're still trying not to draw attention to that. Can we go this way? There's got to be something to click on. Okay, so anything here? Oh, should we go over here? No. Alright, you don't want to touch him. I get it. Well... Bodily functions, not doing anything spectacular, sorry. Here we go. Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. Uh, so not this. Not this. Not that. Oh, now if I right click, we do different things. Okay, so. So, there we go. Geez, you sure do like purple. I'm ready to confess, or I think I'll have a look around before I admit to anything. Okay, let me look around a little bit more. <laughs> go right ahead, I'm paid by the hour. Okay, so now that I figured out, I can do different things. Okay, so don't pick that. Oh, and this is move. Okay. Ah. Well, and then that's just look at a blood pod. Human machines all run on blood. They're written in Gochik, the Chinese language. I can barely read it, but it seems to be safety instructions for the torture devices. <laughs> and he still doesn't want to talk about that paper. Oh, that's the nastiest human machine he's ever seen. 
All right, let's go ahead and just talk to this guy. I think we're ready for that. So, well, you sure do like purple. Purple is the color for pain. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to confess. Good, good. What's your name? Ooh, Plunkweedle the Norpetrator? Chief Pankutioner Adlar. Ladies <laughs> All right. Well, those same ladies, they're going to call you Goodwits after today. <laughs> All right, then. We'll add identity fraud to the list. Oh, no! Breaking and entering, indecency, assault, and we're in some trouble here. The theft confuses me. Do you even think about what you take, or do you just take everything? Now, I've got to know, why do you do what you do? <laughs> like most great stories, it starts with a damp hole. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna go ahead and go for the bluster. Hold on to your uh, squid hat and prepare for a tale of epic monumentity. Ocean at the cave's end, just like the spooky voice described. Oh, so there really is a spooky voice. I should be tending to my crop right now. But here I am, following voices. That's your cue, voice. <laughs> Can't wait for my name day now. Osiris the Loon, maybe. The <laughs> self conversationalist. Ooh, what do we got here? We'll have a much bigger name than that. A spooky voice has a spooky face. Perfect. <laughs> we have much to discuss. Who are you? Are you me? No, you are me. Now listen. <laughs> You must come to me at the peak of the Nobly Crook. Okay. Right, sure. I'm just gonna head back home now. Oh, you came this far. We gotta forge onward. It could have been. I'm sorry, it never was. Well, we don't wanna do that. <laughs> Alright, stop. How do I even get there? That's a long swim. Of course. <laughs> That's it, horse. Well, holy cow, is that a horse? Oh, here we go then, the horse you sailed in on. Oh, this thing's incredible. So, horse it is. <laughs> Who's this fella? Good, uh, okay, let's look at stuff. What are these? She looks drunk to me. How can you tell? Must be the chip of the litter. Neat, I didn't know they had yeah, tongues. Oh, it looks like the only one. This one creep that one creeps you out. Not the other ones, though, eh? Somebody sleepy. This one's kind of smooshy. <laughs> what are they? The gleaming begoggled great helm. The midst of a master. Myriad bite sticks. This man is clearly a gummerlung wrangler. Clearly. Well, let's well, let's talk to the animals. <laughs> hey, little guy. <laughs> okay, they're kind of cute little critters. Nice mitts. You have many pouches. Uh, I have a pouch too. I'm sure you're very proud. <laughs> Well, obviously, you know something about gummer lungs. We'll say it anyhow. I know everything about gummer lungs. Uh, why are there so many here? 
These are purebred championship caliber gummerlings. Each finalist team has its own ball, of course. I make sure they arrive safely. Uh, is it safe to have these things on board? No, which is why I keep them on a paper diet. It keeps them calm throughout the trip. Oh, they must be rock based. What happens when they're not calm? They eat the shit. Can I have some paper? No. Nope. I'll eat the shit. No, you won't. <laughs> I cannot resist all these delicious critical shit bits. <laughs> oh, score, we got a paper. I'm assuming. Is it in our inventory? I'm not sure how to access the inventory. But maybe we have paper now. Oh, why is the one on the end so small? Nail biter. He's a baby. <laughs> why don't you pinch his cheek? I'm sure he'll bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough about Gummerlungs. So, I need to get to the Nobly Crack. We just came from there. Well, and now we're going to the Gummerlung Championships. Yeah, we should have boat hopped in the other direction. <laughs> Short of an emergency, there's no way Captain Sextant will reverse this horse. Hmm. <laughs> an emergency it is, then. Alright, let's go start an emergency. Maybe we can mess with the paper here. But it looks like we can go inside, possibly, too. So let's check that out. Um, okay, yeah, we're going through. Alright, so I'm betting the captain's probably somewhere around here. I'm assuming he's in the head of the horse. I could be wrong. Ooh, look at this pulsate. It's like enormous, <laughs> An enormous pulsating and putrid horse tongue. <laughs> that is kind of gross. Uh, what's this little hatch? A gaping abscess in the gum. Maybe we can throw something in there? Gargantuan set of choppers. Well, this looks like it's winding down. Can we go this way? Oh, okay, we get around it like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's head over here. Just grab hold of that wheel. Alright, maybe it's not a wheel. What is it? Oh, wheel gone. Boats use these to warn other boats when they get too close. Oh, okay. So this is basically just the boat's horn. <laughs> What about this part? A periscope. I'm guessing it's linked to the eyes above. Well, let's take a look. Oh, so we can't take it. It's just endless ocean. Nothing to see. Alright, then. I think maybe back this way. Can we get up here? No. Alright, over here. Head towards the other end. Can we go? No, okay. Oh, I got him going everywhere. This away, this away. Alright, let's head back toward these scissors. Looks a little dangerous, but we're gonna go for it. First, I want to look at these scissors. Classic Nobcopian motor. 
The scissors repel the paper sails and push the boat forward. Huh. Okay. I think what I'm going to try to do is if we do have that paper, I'm not sure how to access the inventory. I? No. I'm going to try to interact with this little runty one and see if I can pick him up somehow. <laughs> Don't touch. Hmm. Well, what am I going to do then? I want to take one of these and throw it in that abscess. That would cause an emergency. Maybe the sleepy one? This guy's going to figure it out. Don't touch him! So, how do we get around this fellow then? So do. Piggy bank? <laughs> but possibly the most attractive paper farmer. Oh, because I clicked on myself. Uh huh. Triad. Nail biter. Head over here real quick. Let's see this one's Panhandler. Okay. So. What are we going to do about this guy? I don't want to talk to him again. Let's head back over here. There's got to be something I missed. Alright, can we touch anything? They're way up there, so no way. No, because then we're, it's going to be the same problem. It looks like they go the length of the ship, but we can't get down to these ones where you can't see us, I don't think. Just keeping too close of a guard. Yeah. Alright, back this way. So the music does seem to stutter when I'm changing scenes. Not that that's a big deal. do here? Maybe just look at some things. Okay, the helm's inside the skull. We were there. Let's try it again. What about this hole in the tongue? Nope. Okay. I don't know, can we just jump in there? Hop in. No, he's not going for it. Okay. Symbol for captain. So where is the captain? this thing? No, it's not looking like. So... Captain Sextant is severe. Mm. Did I call you Captain Sexy? <laughs> you may not. <laughs> uh, how do we get to the Nobly Crook? We're going to the Gummer Lunch Championship. I know, we need to turn around. <laughs> you just spin around and drop me off. No big deal. <laughs> I'm sure they won't have waited. <laughs> well, it was a nice try, but, um, can I have that gong? A gongless vessel is not a seaworthy vessel. Nope. <laughs> well, you have a beautiful hammer. It's a curse. The metal is precious. 
It attracts parasites. Ooh, metal eaters. Google tends my repair more than the ship itself. Can I take your hammer? Well, why would... Can I take your face? Yeah, he doesn't have incentive to just give it up. <laughs> your question is inappropriate. <laughs> uh, okay, how about some questions about this vessel then? Uh, yeah, what exactly is this ship? Don't just say a horse. Oh, she is the draft horse. A great sea totem. Draft totems were usually worshipped. Oh, she has a shrine at each port. Why not build a church on board? We have the budget for a church or a bar. <laughs> Tell me about the bar. At our aft flies the horse's ass bar. <laughs> exceptional drink, exceptional music, exceptional danger. We gotta find a way to get to that bar. Be wary of everyone. Anything below deck? Nothing you're allowed to see. Mm. <laughs> that sounds off limits, yeah. Uh, what would it take to turn us around? Nothing short of scenario 37. Not even a scenario 36. Yeah, we don't want our captain to die. Oh, even if he dies, we keep going to the nearest port, so... Doesn't help us. Yeah, we gotta find a way to huck a gummer along down in that hole. Okay. Well, anything else? Oh, that's pretty much it. Gotta go. All right, we gotta figure out where this bar is. So clearly, up to the other end of the horse. I didn't see a way to proceed, but we'll try it. somewhere to go over here and I'm just not clicking. Maybe if I click below the scissors. Oh, there we go. Oh well, well. What do we got here? I bet you can see far into space with those lenses. The horse's ass, we found the bar. Kind of elevator, huh? And what's this gaping abyss before us? A large stinking hole. Ooh, yeah, we can guess what that is. Well, let's talk to this fella. You look busy. And it's because I'm busy. So, who are you? Who are you? Oh, <laughs> sure thing. We'll keep distracting you. Uh, what is that you're doing over there? Many things. Maintaining structural integrity, lubricating gears and muscles, feeding the boat. Yeah, what does a boat eat? Digest almost anything, eh? Or garbage, contraband, troublemakers. Melody's luggage down the hole today. Probably full of illegal weapons. Probably, you don't know? So, what do you know about the lower part of the ship? Oh, the digestive system. Yeah, it's not a place to go. <laughs> mm, so with a helmet, we might be okay in the digestive system for a bit, huh? How do I reach the lower deck? Oh, the elevator, right? Yep, the lift. 
Okay, and needs paper. We've got paper. Liquid paper. Gamerlin players love to drink it. So maybe in the bar then. Yep, the supply went to the bar. Leave the hole alone, he says. All right. <laughs> You're going to mess with her. Anyway. <laughs> Can I borrow your sock? <laughs> you need a license for a saw? Oh. Well, that's enough of this fella. Before we attempt anything with that elevator, let's go into the bar. This way. Ah, oh, look at that guy. Or gal, I really don't know. That person looks awesome. I do quite enjoy this artwork. Alright, what do we got here? A Melodine Blast Horn. She's a Melodine Warbard. Songweavers and Assassins. Ooh. She's deadly, eh? Servant of the Grim Fiddler. This guy. A dead knob or Trippian. All the meaty parts dried up. The other parts don't know what to do, so he just keeps going? At least he died in a toast. Looks like he's from the Blast Squad. Oh, missing half his fingers. Okay. Uh, what's this? That thing is weird even by Knob Crookian standards. Okay, nobody knows what's going on with this one. Well, if this guy's dead, maybe we can take something useful from him. No? No. Okay. Thank you for your service. Oh, hard to No, he says he can hear us. He just doesn't care that we're thanking him. Okay. We probably can't talk to her. She's busy, but... Play cantankerous canker sores. <laughs> Absolutely no requests. <laughs> I'll go talk to it. He doesn't want to. Okay. Well, looks like we can... First, I'm going to try to walk past it. Nope, we go across the bridge. That's fine. Ooh, what is this? Look at these things. This guy's fantastic. So are all, all of these are really cool. All right, let's look what we got first. What's going on here? Something ate that stool. It looks like a living shadow. She, oh, she's from a Gummerlong team. An athlete. I wonder if she has autographs. No autographs. Aw. A bogle. Oh, there's the bartender. So, let's talk to everybody. So, what are you? Not Knob Crookian, huh? Uh, I need to get to the Knobbly Crook. Not that this guy's gonna necessarily care. Where is that? I cannot fly. Oh, do you have anything I can use? You have a shiny thing, huh? Let's see it. Okay, I think for a thing. <laughs> Something with wings. Well, I don't think I have anything to give him right now. I'll be back, though, Jack. 
Alright, what about this guy? Um. <laughs> Why are you bothering me? You're a bobo. You are a runt. Go away. But we're talking. Why do you want an Abrukian boat? Endless food supply. Eat little people till most are gone. When we are we hit the shore, most of you or more of you come aboard. Why leave? Oh, don't believe everything you hear, little one. He's not really gonna eat us. We eat your kind only sometimes. <laughs> Can I have your triangle? <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Did you eat the other bar stools? <laughs> Only the parts that are metal. Oh, that's why the seats are sitting there. Okay. Sorry for bugging you. Alright, let's talk to this bartender. So, what is this place? The horse's ass. Finest and only drinking establishment on this ship. Well, nice to meet you, Tobble the Tapper. What do you serve here? Sap beer, sap spirits, liquid paper. I need some liquid paper. One sliv. Or you can have a refill if you have a cup. Oh, we gotta find a way to get her cup. Wait. <laughs> oh, come on, just give me the cup. You know your entertainer's an assassin. Sure, I can keep a secret. <laughs> or not. Ooh, she's here on business. A stranger will stow away on this boat. Not me! She's gonna try to decapitate us. Let's watch out for her. Uh, you know one of your patrons is already dead over there. Oh, give me a glass and I'll go raise it to him. And of course you know there's a bull gold at your bar. It's kind of hard not to see him, he's gigantic. Um, what does he want? He's just hanging out at the bar. Oh, he may be afraid of that coming war. He's scrawny for a bull gold? Really? Uh, where do they come from? A gnarled scar. <laughs> well, why do they want more? Oh, not them at all. So we're the bad guys. Why can't we just leave them alone? Well, I guess enough about Bogolds. And that's it for this guy. So we gotta find a way to get a cup. She has a cup, but she doesn't want to give it to us. Um, so we can get that liquid paper. And we've got to find something with wings to get whatever Jack's got. Alright, can we can we just talk to this fella? Quit being scared. You can do this, Osiris. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> okay, that thing was awfully strange. Let's head. Ah, clicked past it. Alright, I just want to try this really quick. No, we don't need to stick fingers in his drink. We need his cup. Ah. All right, well, let's look at the elevator. We'll see if we can do anything with that yet. Well, we're running awfully long here. We're at about 35 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. I don't know how long this thing's going to be on the whole, but it feels like we've still got quite a bit to go. So we'll wind it down. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Make sure to head over to Greenlight. Give this a vote. I mean, just just this little bit so far. This has been fantastic. This is definitely worth a vote. Uh, also, you can you know go to the website, check this out for yourself. Um, but I'm definitely gonna keep playing more. So come back next time, and we'll see if we can figure out a way to get a cup and some liquid paper.